A special thank you to Darren and Marna at Dolls Rescue for coming up with this collaboration, 3D printing the items needed for this collaboration, and inviting me to join in this collaboration. Thank you so much. The other YouTube channels that are participating in this collaboration are Dory at Dory's Dollies, Penny at Playful Reborns, and of course, Marna at Dolls Rescue. I have a package, and I wonder who it could be from. It's red sparkling paper. Mm. I know who it's from. It's from Marna and Darren at Dolls Rescue. Let's get this opened. And I'll be right back. Have our box opened. Let's take a look inside. Ooh. Okay, so there's Dolls Nudie Dee Dee. Major doll nudity, so if you don't like that, I need to not watch this video. But we are part of collaboration. Um, I will include everyone in the description box down below, and I will do a call out at the beginning of this video. So, yeah, I do the video sections. So, we are going to be. Taking all the excess material off, sanding it down, adding color to it, and making a outfit for this. We'll put the we'll be putting this on our smart the bust. Making an outfit for it. Wow. Putting it on our doll. Skeleton. With our head. Wow. Okay. Wow. Um, eye cradle. Nice. I'm happy now. Ooh. Happy mail bag, which is super cute. And I have some nice ribbon that we'll be saving to use. Some minor bread paper I'll be saving to use. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Wow. We have some chocolate brown. Chocolate brown breast. Nice. Chocolate brown head. Nice. Ooh, that'll be cool. Head cap. Very interesting. Ooh, look at this. Oh, and purple's my favorite color. This is so cool. So once we're done, we can put our hats on this too. Once we're finishing using them on our smart doll bodies, we can put them on this. Which reminds me of a certain game chess piece. Pun intended, I guess. Another eye cradle. Nice. Ooh. Some headbands. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Some, some hands. Nice. Looks like Spider-Man hands. No, that's not what they are, but that's what they remind me of. Cool. Very cool. Ooh, some doll hangers. 
Oh my goodness. You guys have been busy. Very nice. Little clothes pins. Awesome. Coffee cups. Oh, those are cool. Very nice. Ooh. Souls. Ooh. Nice. Very nice. Ooh. It's interesting. So I have a pair of boots started. Well, if they work on it, I'll take it for you. And Marner's card, Dog's Rescue. Little note. And they're having a Smart Dow Winterfest 2025, and it you can find out more information on it on lovingmysmartdow.com. Very nice. Thank you so much, Darren and Marna. I think they have everything. Thank you. Well, I was not able to get the sanded perfectly. Um, but I, so I'm just going to go ahead and work on it. I have sprayed it with workable fixative and I'm going to start with my pan pastels. So here is how her head turned out. This is what her original 3D printed material looked like. I kept the head cap as is because I wanted to be able to show the difference. This, of course, was multiple layers, which I showed some of them. Some of the layering, there was quite a few layers here to the point where it made the and with all the varnish it made the rubber material which was some somewhat squishy when I started a little longer squishy so I'm going to show what I made for my uh, alien I made her a pair of shoes this pattern is from One Clay. She has a YouTube channel. I made her skirt. This pattern is from Beth Ramston's. One of her patterns. It's for the Moray skirt. And I just used uh, two sections. I used the back part and one of the skirt sections and I just made um, two of each. I doubled the pattern and then sewn it together to make a panel on the front. This I made a long time ago. It was a piece left over from an art quilt that I made 
the binding of an art quilt. So I thought that looked kind of stellar. So I decided to use that. And there's the back. The crocheted piece that I have here is from is a pattern from Bag O'Day Crochet. And um, it was for the vest. It's a recent pattern she um, has on a YouTube channel. It's for the vest. I went down a cur went down in um, yarn weight. I used a sock weight yarn. The sock yarn I used was Patton's Croy socks, and it was two, four, three, four, five, seven celestial colors. I used a C crochet hook, 2.75 millimeters. And in the pattern, you're supposed to do two panels with three repeats. I did the two panel, two panels, but I only did two repeats of the pattern for each panel. Then I added some beads down at the bottom. And the last piece of the outfit is this very long shift and this was from a pattern from Lomi's Playground. I had it is for one of the larger BJD patterns that she offers on her website. You'll have to go to your YouTube channel to find out her website. But uh, I sized this down quite a bit to fit a smart down. And I made this quite a while ago, but it was exactly what I needed for this outfit. So I decided just to use this instead of making a whole new one. And now on to the alien herself. Sorry for the angle, but these dolls are tall and it is hard to um, shoot them with the regular camera angle. So um, I went with the... vertical shot just so I could show her and everything. Uh, this is her ceremonial garb. I took a lot of inspiration from Star Trek and uh, Star Wars with their different textures of ceremonial costumes. That's why I used the crochet. Um, this uh, very uh, loose weaved cotton and of course then added this piece with its it's a cambray sort of fabric and of course with this added piece the shoes are like a full suede her headpiece is a bracelet that I had gotten from I think from arts and craft fair The front, I'll show the back. That's how it lays in the back. Thank you so much for watching. Please check out the other participants of this very fun and creative collaboration started by Marna and Darren at Dolls Rescued. And have a wonderful day and evening.